directly underneath Polaris at its zenith means that star trails must be perfectly circular. This would apply equally to the flat Earth or globe Earth models. However, as you move further and further south on the flat Earth model, the star trails will be more and more oval. Let's consider a circular light fixture fixed to the ceiling. When you're standing directly underneath it and you look upwards directly above you, that's plumb with the floor, you see a perfect circular object. I'm sure you'll agree. But as you slowly back away, while still looking up at the light fixture, you notice it appears more and more acutely oval. Notice that the fixture closest to the camera is more circular than the one ahead of it. And that one is more circular than the next one. Not only are the fixtures getting smaller, but more and more acutely oval. Now, if you look at the fixture in the far distance, you should see that the oval shapes is very, very acute. It would almost look like a straight line. Now, imagine instead of a series of solid, single, circular light fixtures, you had one comprised of many lights arranged in a perfect circle and rotating. Again, you see a perfect circle of lights when you look up from directly underneath. And as you slowly back away, they appear more and more acutely oval and smaller. So this is what an actual photo of star trails looks like close to the equator. Clearly, this is wrong for flat Earth. Think again about the large circular light fixture. Then as in the light fixture demonstration, the star trails would be acutely oval. How is it possible for star trails around Polaris to be circular no matter where you are standing, particularly if you're observing Polaris close to the horizon, which also means close to the equator. Now clearly that can only happen on a sphere model. Stand here and you are looking north and you see the star trails around Polaris as Earth spins. Stand here and you're looking towards the north and you will see circular star trails around Polaris as Earth spins. I have deliberately not mentioned the southern star trails at the horizon. That presents even greater problems for flatties. Unde base sagte Giovanni dazu? Tausende von Beweis. Es ist einfach nur recherchieren und Gott sorgt schon für uns. Das ist einfach die Realität. So sieht das aus. Deswegen kann man auch Polaris von überall sehen hier. If these three or any other flat earther is still convinced that Earth is flat after watching this video, then they're either cultists or severely intellectually handicapped. So. Und CO2 ist gut für die Pflanzen. Jeder weiß das. Viele Experimente haben die schon gemacht, dass es gut ist für die Pflanzen. Aber das ist ein anderes Thema. Gehört trotzdem so äh, flache Erde, weil die Erde flach ist. Ciao Giovanni.